well, I'm going to show you a demo on this prototype device, which uh, is to show how manufacturers can customize the platform. It's not a commercial device, but it shows some of the platform feature. One of them is dynamic box. So each of these boxes, we call it dynamic box. If you flick it down, you can see more detailed information, and we call this drop view. Uh, this is really um, open for developers' uh, creation, innovation, and creativity. So, for example, you can see updated news right here on the screen without going to any apps. Also, say so you can track your Twitter feeds, um, stock prices, and it's it's really depending on. Um, how developers want it to look like. It doesn't have to be exactly the look you are seeing here. Another thing is Tizen is a great plat platform for HTML5 apps. I'll show you a demo on this app, which is an HTML5 app. You'll see um, how smooth it runs. have a Tizen store. The seller side of the Tizen store is already open, so developers have been submitting their apps to the store. It has all different kind of um, recommended apps and uh, different categories. Something interesting we tried on Tizen is what we call mini app. It's not a Tizen specific uh, feature, but we just tried it on Tizen to show the capability of multitasking. So see here, you can take pictures, uh, run videos, even if you are doing something else at the same time. You can minimize it and put whatever you want on the screen. You can just close it as well. So um, as I introduced the dynamic box, one good thing about it is you don't need to tell the, uh, know the difference between shortcut and widget anymore because you just need to simply change the size of it and it shows different amount of information by according to the size of the, uh, of this, of the box. That's it.